Hey guys, today I am sharing five of my most favorite kitchen utensils. So they're not gadgets or appliances or anything life changing, but these are the five things that I'm constantly reaching for in my drawer. Um, they're my go-to items pretty much every day when I'm cooking. So I just wanted to share a few of my favorites. Um, I'll start right away. So first off is this, I'm actually not sure what it's called, but it's like, I call it the scooper. So when I'm chopping my vegetables and I need to get them from the cutting board into the pot, this is great to use. It's especially useful um, for cilantro. And if you follow me and my recipes, you know there is a lot of cilantro in there. So um, it's nice to just scoop everything off like really clean and then drop it right into the pot. Um, I think initially, or I think essentially it's used for like bread like cutting or whatever and for people who make dough. But really, really useful tool. I use it every single day. Um, second is this spatula. So I love A, the design. It's super sleek. Um, this, the uh, handle is stainless steel and this part is silicone. It is great for making sure that you don't scratch your like stainless steel or nonstick cookware. Um, it's heat resistance up to 600 degrees and it doesn't, you know, chip or scratch or anything. So they're really, really useful. The design and the edge of it also, like when you're emptying your pots and putting leftovers into Tupperware, it really gets it really clean because it's silicone. It can get like a lot of surface area. So um, I have like three of these in three different colors. So they're fantastic. Third is this lemon squeezer, and I feel like everyone has a lemon squeezer, but I like that this one's yellow since most of my appliances are like gray or silver or whatever. Um, I like to have a few things with color because when you open a drawer and you're all like frazzled and cooking and you're trying to just get stuff done, um, it catches your eye so I can reach for it a lot quicker. I like that this one in particular is bigger um, because I feel like lemons are like huge nowadays, but I put this one, you know, put the lemon in there just like a normal lemon squeezer. It's metal, so it's also very durable compared to like the plastic ones. And yeah, it just keeps the seeds out and I get a lot more juice out of my lemon when I'm using this compared to using my hands. Um, garlic press. So, if you follow my recipes, again, you know that there's a crap ton of garlic in all of them. So I like this when I don't really wanna bust out the food chopper or the, uh, the mini processor or anything. You can put like two or three cloves of garlic right in here and you just press it tight and then you get a uh, minced crushed garlic that comes out of this end. When I just need like five or six cloves done really quickly and I just wanna throw this in the dishwasher, it's much, much quicker. Really, really um, useful. Stainless steel again, throw right in the dishwasher. Last but not least are these microplanes. So I do a lot of grating um, and these are great. So I have one that's fine, meaning the holes are a lot smaller in this one. This one's great for when you want like your garlic really pasty um, and kind of more on the liquidy side, especially when you don't want it to be PC, like let's say in like a dressing or something like that, where you really want the garlic to incorporate well and you're not gonna be cooking it. So I love to use, love to use this for that. When you grate the garlic, it literally comes out so fine um, on the other end. Same thing with ginger, it's great. Um, it's great, greater, get it? Woo. Anyway, uh, so this one is a coarse grater. I love to put freshly grated pecorino romano over my roasted veggies. So I just use the block of cheese and I grate it. It's, it's a little bit coarse, but I love how the cheese comes out of this one. It would be great to get like cucumbers and carrots if you're making raita or anything else, honestly. Um, the brand is just a really great brand. They're durable. I've had a lot of other graders where like this handle pops off, slips off, and then the blade gets really dull over time and it's painful if you're grit, like, you know, grating and you, uh, lose grip and you can actually hurt yourself. But these are two of my faves. I use them again every day. And that was that. I felt like that was really quick. And uh, these are five of my utensils that I use a lot. So hopefully you guys found it useful. I will link all the products in the description box below. Um, I hope you guys like the video. So follow me, subscribe to the page, like the video, and I hopefully will get the chance to share a lot more of these quick little kitchen videos with you guys. Um, that's all. Thanks for following.